Hey guys, it's me, Christy Lee. I'm not sure if you can hear it, but it's raining right now. There's actually like tornado warnings in the area. I'm gonna have to roll my windows up. Oh, that was wet. That was really wet. Yeah, so we got um, storm warnings last night when I was at work, and on my way home, there were tornado warnings, and I was driving over the Dames Point Bridge, which is, I hope that's not too loud. That's probably really loud. The Dames Point Bridge is the, I believe, our tallest bridge here in Jacksonville, and getting to the top of it, that's going to be way too loud, isn't it? I was being blown all over the road and it was so rainy and it was very hard to see the lines in the road because of the lights. I don't know. It was just very difficult and very scary. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see, or not see me, you can see me just fine. Actually, this lighting, this overcast lighting, for whatever reason, is actually really good for the video quality. Um, I'm wearing my ship shirt today. I think that I am actually going to try to do my first ship shop this afternoon. It's just too bright out here. It's only been slightly drizzling until I turned on the camera to start recording. I think I have a lazy eye. Maybe? Hi, people. <laughs> About to go get me a drink, he said. In the rain, he said. And bring it inside when you're done, he said. <laughs> Forgot to pack his, his lunch box, his drink cooler this morning, so I'm paying the price for it and I'm all wet and cold now. This is why my channel is never going to go anywhere because there's no point to my content. It's just like, you know, I just hop on here and I'm like, hey, how you doing? Let me complain about my life a little bit. You know what I ate for dinner last night? Take a guess. Just guess. I mean, just anything. What do you think I ate? I ate jalapeno Cheetos. <laughs> jalapeno, jalapeno Cheetos. The hard, crunchy ones. They were actually really good. And I don't like jalapeno. I couldn't stop eating them, so if you've never tried them, they're really not that hot unless you get a piece of the little flavoring stuck in your throat and then you're like coughing and all that stuff. But they actually have a really good flavor. I was laying in bed. I couldn't stop eating them. Have I showed you guys my bracelet yet? Have I? My youngest son made this for me for Mother's Day. And he put it in this really sweet little hand handmade card with little hand drawn love thing on it and a heart with wings and it was just really super sweet and I'm so afraid that it's gonna break or fall off or something and I keep tying it more and more and more to kind of keep it I don't want to lose it ever like I want to find something that will protect it so I can be wearing this when I'm 80 years old the rain has finally stopped for a little while I just re-downloaded the shift app I went in I took my profile picture in my ship shirt I put myself on the schedule for this evening in the area that Eric's gonna be working in and I set up my PEX card which is what they give you they load the funds onto the card that's what you use to pay for the groceries it gives you an estimate of how much you will make for the order and how long it's gonna take how many items and how many different categories so it looks like it'll be pretty easy. I'm hoping that something will be open in that area tonight. Right now there's nothing. I don't know if I'm actually going to get anything tonight, but we'll see. Guys, I did it. I did my first shipped shop. Um, first of all, I'm very proud of myself. I did not think that I would go through with it. I'm surprised and proud of myself. So that makes me happy that I actually did something. I know it took me <laughs> almost a year, a year maybe? No, has it been that long? I don't know how long it's been, but it's taken me quite a while since I got signed up with them to actually do one. And let me just say, it was a little stressful. 
Every other item that I was picking out for her, they didn't have the specific one that she was looking for. So I had to text her to ask if there was a substitution item that she would like or if she just didn't want the item on her order. Would, I mean, that would be okay if it was just one or two things, but I swear it was like almost everything that she asked for. They either didn't have the right size, the right quantity, the right flavor. And I felt really, really bad because I know that she was driving on her way home and she's getting a text from me every few minutes saying, they don't have this. Would you like this instead? And, you know, to some people that could be considered annoying. Um, but, you know, it was my first one. I wasn't sure what to do. And she said it had a little note on there to contact for substitutions. Some people will leave a little note that says use best judgment for substitutions. I think that one's going to be even trickier because I don't know how good my judgment is. Um, also, there were things like picking avocados. She wanted five avocados. I don't know how to pick an avocado. I don't know if I should get the greenest ones, the brownest ones, the hardest ones, the semi-soft ones. Um, so I did my best. And then a pack of strawberries. I don't eat strawberries, so I just got the reddest looking ones that didn't look like they had any rotten spots on them. And Lord, I hope I did right. I didn't get a tip. It's fine. It's whatever. It's whatever. I did make $13.31 off of that shop. I felt so bad for Eric because he had to sit out there the whole time I was grocery shopping. Um, because I thought that he was coming straight to this job. I could drop him off and then go do my thing. Well, they couldn't even get into the office building until 5 o'clock. And that's when I was supposed to make the delivery. It was 5 o'clock. I started shopping at 4. Um, so, I mean, he only had to sit out there for an hour compared to I'm going to be in the car today for 16 hours. So, you know, but he, he called me <laughs> at like 4.50. He's like, where are you? What is taking so long? You're just grocery shopping. I'm like... I don't, I don't know the store. They don't have the product she's looking for. I'm having to text her and wait for her to reply. This is $140 worth of groceries. Like, it's not going to be an in and out thing. But, yeah, so I did it. And I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad I did it. I don't know how often I'll be able to do it. I don't even know if it will be worth it with fuel costs and things like that. But we'll see. So I guess that's it. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you later.